In this video, we're going to package both our projects, the RESTful Web Service API and the verification service into WAR files, and we're going to deploy them into a standalone Tomcat servlet container on our local machine and see how they work together. So I'll open my terminal window. And in the previous section, we have learned how to download Apache Tomcat and how to add it to our Spring Tool Suite. If you have not watched that, please do watch that video first. I have downloaded Tomcat to my desktop and its current location is desktop and then Tomcat version that I have downloaded. So first of all, I will go and start that Tomcat. So I will need to change directory into a bin folder of Tomcat and then list files there. And to start up Tomcat, I will use this start up as age uh, command. So I will do dot forward slash and then start up dot sh and hit enter and this will start tomcat on default port 8080 i can open up a browser window and i can check it this is a new browser window and i can go to localhost port 8080 manager html and hit enter and this is tomcat web application manager and if before opening it prompts you for the password Please watch a previous section in which we have learned how to configure a new Tomcat user so that we can deploy applications. And I already have here mobile app web service project, which is my RESTful web service API and verification service. So before uploading new projects here, I will undeploy these ones and I'll click on undeploy button here. That will remove my web service API from Tomcat and I'll undeploy the verification service as well. Okay, so now I'm ready to deploy new projects. So I will go inside of my web service project and it's located in the video course folder. So if I list files here, I should be able to see the pomxml. The first thing that I will do, I will use maven command to clean the target folder, just to make sure that it doesn't have any old files. Now if I list files, I no longer have the target folder and I can use maven command to install. This will compile my project and it will run test cases and it will create a new deployable web application archive which I can then upload to my Tomcat. Okay, the build is successful and I can list files and go to target folder and list files there and this is my new war file it does contain a snapshot and the version number which i usually like to remove before deploying my project so i'll bring up the finder window and this is my project target folder and this is the new war file so i'll simply click on it like this and i will rename it leaving up mobile app ws.far file so let's now go and deploy this file and I will choose the file and I will go to my project, choose the project, uh, go to target folder and now choose mobile app WS where file and choose this and deploy it. Okay, the web project is now deployed and it's running. The status is true and we are ready to go and deploy the verification service. And I have a new tab opened here. And if I check its location, I'm inside of the verification service project. I will list files here. I should be able to see pomxml. And I also have a target folder. I can run maven install uh, command right away. But again, I like clean installation. So I will first use maven command to clean the target folder. List files, target, target folder is gone. And now I will use Maven install to compile, run test and prepare my package in a deployable web application archive file. Now I'll open up finder window, go to my verification service, target, verification service so it doesn't have a version number. Good, so I'm ready to go and upload it. So I'll choose the file. target folder, verification service, choose and deploy. And here we go, it's also running. So now we should be able to try both of this uh, project and if something is not working, we will debug it and we will fix an issue right away.